I'm standing on a small footbridge right in the very heart of the wire forest at Knowles Mill. Beneath my feet, the Dowell's Brook, also known as the Dark Brook, gurgles on its journey down towards the River Severn. Five miles upstream, the Dowell's is formed by the confluence of three smaller streams, the Lem Brook, Badeney Brook and Mad Brook. It also forms the county boundary in the forest with the county of Worcestershire to the south and Shropshire to the north. I'm now walking along the banks of the Dells Brook. The brook is a very important ecosystem and was designated a triple SSI, a site of special scientific interest, some 40 years ago. It supports a, a wide variety of wildlife. There are obviously the birds which breed along the brook in the spring, uh, insects, dragonflies, damselflies, the quite unusual terrestrial caddis fly, and also the animals in the brook themselves, such as the brown trout and the stone loach, the bullhead or miller's thumb, one of my favourite fish. And there were, uh, in old days, a large population of the freshwater or white-clawed crayfish. But I think we should go down now and see if we can see anything in the brook itself. I'm just scrambling along the, uh, the bed of the brook at the moment in search of some suitable stones in case we might find some small creatures such as uh, stonefly larvae or caddis fly or even a miller's thumb if you're lucky. This is definitely a job for the uh, Wellington boots. Now ah, there's something here which might, might be suitable. When you lift us down you must be very careful that you return it to exactly the same position so that you don't actually disturb the little mini beasts which depend on this for their security. I've just come across a rather undesirable alien. This is the Himalayan balsam, which is a very invasive species and actually has taken over uh, most of our British waterways, uh, although it does provide a valuable nectar source for bees and other flies at certain times of the year. This is my favourite section of the brook and a particularly good place for both the grey wagtail and also the dipper. The dipper spends all his life on the stream, diving into the bottom of the stream and feeding on the small insects, larvae and crustaceans uh, in the sediment and the gravel. The grey wagtail is also present in good numbers. Both of them actually have this very characteristic bobbing movement of the tail. Normally there are about six pairs of dippers nesting along the Dells Brook and actually looking on this little stone there I can see a, a white blob which actually is the, the droppings of a dipper which shows clearly that we have um, dippers present in this area. Both the, uh, the grey wagtail and the dipper actually are delightful little birds. Several iconic bird species nest along the brook. The grey wagtail of course and the Dipper, one of my favourite birds, and also, of course, the Alstian bird, the kingfisher. Looking up up this bank, rising above the brook, this is a very, very suitable place for to find a kingfisher nest. And in fact, up on the bank here, there looks like the remains of a of an old nest. In fact, there was a nest uh, a few years ago along this section. Unfortunately, it was dug out by a fox. This is a sort of place that you might actually encounter one of the mustelids, which um, use the Dells Brook occasionally, the North American mink which obviously was introduced and also a native otter. Otters are using the brook but they're still in very very low numbers and very rarely seen but of course they're almost entirely nocturnal but you can look out for the the signs of their presence, their droppings called sprains or also their their footprints in the uh, the soft mud, but I haven't actually found anything positive yet, but uh, we're always, always hopeful. I can actually see something on this rock, I'm not sure, but there's some sort of dropping anyway. 
yeah, it's very, very old, but it does look very likely that this is a, a not a dropping. Um, sometimes when you examine them, you can find the uh, fish scales or evidence of what they fed on. But this one actually is almost petrified now because obviously it's been there for several weeks. So nothing too conclusive, but very likely this is uh, showing us that an otter has passed this way fairly recently. I hope you have enjoyed this glimpse of the floor room fauna and gained some insight into the secret life of the Dell's Brook. Right.